Well, good. Now you've got three tremendous young players, two from the U.S. and the young Thai Patty Tabatanikin in that final group with Nelly Korda and Angel Yin, teammates multiple times before. Nelly now leads it by three. She's at the eighth. Grant Boone, Judy Rankin, Jerry Foltz with the final group. Gorgeous swing yet again, hitting it so well. Nine iron from 137. Yeah, good shot. And another chance. Very nice. up to the 10th and here is Stacy Lewis. That hole at 10 um, right up on the front of the green Stacy just over the back and just where that collar of rough starts trying to figure out how to get the club solidly on the back of the ball. So how do you. I think you move it back in your stance just a little bit to get the club to go up a little quicker without um, really manipulating it with your hands. Not going to try to putt it. But wants it to roll like a putt, wants it to get rolling like a putt as soon as possible. Good, good job. Yes. Yeah, very good job. Not much margin for error there. It doesn't look like Some shots like that. Back of the eighth, and here is Angel Yin, Jerry. Pretty basic bunker shot here, Judy. A little bit of an uphill lie playing into the breeze, and not a short bunker shot, not a long one. Should be up and down most of the time from here. Just got it up and down at the previous hole. Tougher putt this time. Yes. Nelly with a good chance to get another birdie. Let's get you to the 18th and Annika Sorensen, ninth hole of the day. First appearance, as you've heard, no doubt, since 2008. Made the cut right on the number. Struggled a bit on Saturday. Take it to the ninth. Check in with Brooke Henderson, who's not played well today so far. Three bogeys. And that one is going to drop. So first birdie of the day for Brooke, but out in 38. Ten shots back out of the running here at the Gamebridge LPGA when Nelly Corder leads by three. What a Sunday we have in store for you at Lake Nona Golf and Country Club, just a couple of minutes east of the Orlando International Airport. It's the final round of the Gainbridge LPGA, where youth is being served. Three players in the final group, all 22 or younger. Nelly Corda looking for her fourth victory, and this her fifth season on the LPGA Tour has opened up a three-shot lead. Grant Boone, Judy Rankin, 
with Tom Abbott on the course, Jerry Fultz and Karen Stupples. And Jerry is with our leader, Nelly Corda, looking to pick up another. He's got a great read from Patty Tavitanikit just a moment ago. And that's two in a row from similar distance, left short. One shot lead when the round began. Lead is now three. Angel Yen he is at 13 under, missed the green. And Angel has a putt for par to stay 13 under. World number one, Jin Young Ko. Lexi Thompson having moved into third place now. And Lydia Ko, the leader after rounds one and two, what? still with an outside chance. What do you see here, Jerry? Well, the opposite side of the hole should be moving a little right for Angel, but really scrambling. Last hole, hit it way left off the tee, had to get it up and down from a bunker to save par here, way right off the tee, and got fortunate not to kick into deep trouble. And now has this 12-footer or more to try and just stay as close as she can. Yeah, she's made some good little putts um, early in the day here, but uh, you just can't do that um, under normal circumstances, hole after hole after hole. You've got to You've got to have these kind to uh, make birdie. And probably relies on her caddy, whomever it may be this week. Sean Clues, one of the best in the business, but relies on her caddy for the reads as much or not more than all other players. I guess it's not a bad thing if you uh, recognize the fact that it's not your strong suit. not in. It will be at least a four shot lead for Nelly Corda with 10 holes to play. I'll show you some of the highlights Judy. This is Nelly began with a one shot lead her third shot at the par five second. It is overseeded rough. It doesn't look that long but it is extremely thick down at the bottom. She would make that at the second to get to 14 under par. Angel Yen with a birdie at the second, and then this for birdie at three. Then over to the fifth. Angel trying to do it again. They looked at the read here for a very long time, and she sneaks it in the high side. And Nelly at the fifth to answer. They're playing there with Patty Tavitanikin, who has struggled a bit today. Nelly trying to back it up with another birdie. This is her tee shot at the par three six, the little club twirl. She would roll that in for birdie, her third in her first six. Holes. And now the bogey putt for Angel Yen. Uh-oh. Oh boy. And just like that, a one-shot lead for Nelly Corda coming into this final round. Is now a five-shot lead. Golf Channel and the LPGA Tour proudly present the race to the CME Globe. From Lake Nona, Florida, it's final round coverage of the Gainbridge LPGA. This 2021 LPGA Tour season has begun in Central Florida a month ago with the Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions and now here at Lake Nona. It hosted the very first Solheim Cup back in 1990. It's hosted a number of team events, but now hosting this stroke play LPGA Tour event featuring a world-class field, six of the top seven in the current World Golf Rankings and the dominant former number one, the third winningest player of all time, Annika Sorenstam making a return to the LPGA Tour Judy, for the first time since 2008, she made the cut right on the number. Struggled a bit yesterday. This was for birdie at 15 today. 
15, the par five, uh, a golf course that she knows so well. Uh, this is her home course now for 21 years. She lives on the 16th hole with her husband and caddy this week, Mike. This was for par at 17. She's wearing red and black in honor of her good friend, Tiger Woods. As so many are in women's and men's golf today, as they cheer on and encourage Tiger in his recovery from that horrible traffic accident. The scorecard for Annika Sorenstam, just a remarkable achievement and has inspired so many young players like Nelly Cortez at the ninth. Tom? Yeah, not going with driver here. Playing downwind too, just trying to increase the yep. chances of keeping it in the yep, fairway. Absolutely, we got down the hill. She'll have plenty of chance to go for it from there though. Yeah, it's gone a bit farther than some players drivers there at the ninth. And go to the 11th and we're checking with Sarah Kemp who's going along well today the veteran player from Sydney Australia 35 years of age 14th year on tour and that if it goes in will be for three birdies in a row over to the ninth Jin Young Ko for an eagle Karen Stupple's out there yeah drive all the way to the bottom of the fairway I'm trying to make some inroads on Nelly but Nelly's not making anybody's job easier right now. No, that Angel Yin double bogey it gives Nelly such a comfortable lead. Tough hole location today at the ninth, which we will see a little more from these uh, two groups. Back on the tee, Angel Yin with the driver. A little bit of a dog leg left playing downwind, like I said, but also from the left. So this takes a perfectly struck driver to get it in the fairway because it just wants to run out the right side. She's probably going to throw a little steam into it as well. Shockingly, she did. There's a little valley out there in the fairway and you can get uh, caught on the downslope. You can race it to the second upslope and um, look out if this player makes a double bogey because a little steam wouldn't even come close to measuring what she's feeling. I'm going to have to do some uh, quick maths here because they don't have it listed to drive it to those bunkers on the left where she just drove it. It's about 350 to the middle of those bunkers, I think. So that's a pretty big drive. Welcome to the final round of the game. That is why we were so excited about this final group of Nelly Korda, Patty Tavitanikit, and Angel Yen. All three young players, 22 or younger, and all can absolutely pound it. But suddenly, Judy, what was a close turn? It's escalated quickly. It's a five-shot lead for Nelly now. How does yeah. that change things for her? Well, I'm not sure it changes things for her. She said... Uh, and you don't always hear a player say this. She said she was very confident for this final round. I think more often we hear players say, I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing and, you know, try to play a good round of golf. She actually, she she threw the whatever down. What is that? <laughs> the gauntlet. Do? Thank, the gauntlet. Thank you. Um, down when she said she was very confident because she was the leader and she was just... Um, daring anybody to try to catch her. She is such a magnificent player. I just I can't tell you how impressed um, so many people are with Nellie Korda. Uh, right behind her is Jin Young Ko, the number one player in the world, and I will state right here and right now that Nellie Korda has all the ability to also be the number one in the, in the world. I don't know exactly when that will be, but I think we're going to see it in the future. She's won three times, Nelly, but all were overnight in the U.S. What would it mean for Nelly to win here in her homeland? Uh, I, I just think it would mean a lot. Uh, the, the previous tournament on the LPGA Tour was won by her sister, Jessica Corda. Um, I'm sure they could have a, a, a nice little hug this evening if she could pull off this win and think they've won the first two on the LPGA Tour. Um, basically, uh, what they're saying is, one or the other of the quarters is going to be in contention almost every time you watch an LPGA event this year. Well, they're trying to do what only Annika and Charlotta have ever done on the LPGA Tour. The Sorenstam sisters in March of 2001, back-to-back -back Annika in Arizona, Tucson, and then Charlotta the next week in the Phoenix area. Patty Tabataniket, who has struggled here on the first eight holes, is trying to become the fourth player ever from 
her native Thailand to win on the LPGA Tour, and Angel Yen, that costly double bogey. Like Nelly, this is her fifth season on the LPGA Tour already. Both were rookies in 2017. Tom at Le nine. Yeah, Lexi for birdie. So much movement on that putt, Karen. No, yeah, absolute ton of it. I was out there rolling a few earlier today. I couldn't believe how much it moved. Sarah Kemp for a birdie at the 11th. This for three in a row. A little movement from left to right, and she's got that spot on. She went back to Australia over the break, had to spend two weeks in a hotel room as part of their quarantine, but then had five weeks with her family and got a chance to work with her coach. So she is now back in the States and in good form. Let's go back over to the ninth hole, and Jin Young Ko with a bit of work to do for birdie. She does, but I mean, she would have seen uh, the, the scoreboard that's sort of at the front right of this green, and it clearly stated what kind of a lead that Nelly had. And uh, Jin Yun's obviously very aware of what she needs to do. And I think she just was, you know, you have to try and make a few things happen sometimes. This would be one of those opportunities. I mean, she knows how long Nelly is. I mean, she made a birdie there, but it's just, I think, just holding ground with Nelly right now. You know, if you look at the facts, if you are if you are competing against someone who continually hits two and three irons shorter than you hit in the greens, you can't miss a dimple. It's, it's just how it is in this game. Your margin for error really shrinks. Power. I think this gets on the green all day. Nelly's ready to play back in the fairway or just off it. Yeah, just off it with a five iron, 205 front. 216 hole, just so tough to get on the green close. You can get it on maybe on the back, but landing it short it usually doesn't jump up. That's on a direct line at the flagstick. One handed follow through meant she didn't quite like the strike there. I think so. All right, it is time for our final group to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Angel Yin from Arcadia, California. I don't sleep, I hibernate. Hi, I'm Patty Tavitanicket. I went to UCLA. Force up, go Bruins. Hi, I'm Nellie Corda from Florida, and I am Jessica Corda's little sister. And Jessica had her 28th birthday yesterday. Nellie's uh, trying to celebrate. Okay, so if you do, it's gonna come out of the air a little bit quicker, so that's up to you, right? Feel more comfortable. It's just you know, with this wind, even if you go left and you, you draw it, it's going to hold it. If you want a low floated, floated one, that's fine. You've got to fly this ball. One sixty. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Yeah. You comfortable with this? Mm -hmm. Okay. The voice of Grant Wait. Aggressive swing. PGA Tour player, winner on the PGA Tour, who now coaches Paddy Tavitanikit and is on the bag this week. Then he should know to signal his clubs, too, but he doesn't. Anyway, 180 the hole, 297 yard tee shot. Good thing a little right. Carry. And it's not going. I suppose he never had to worry about signaling his clubs when he was on tour. The caddy did it for him. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a word. Yeah, speak to him, Jerry. We'd like to know what she's hitting. Okay, well, uh, Angel Yin is definitely out of hibernation with that drive. How far, roughly? Just one yard farther than Patty. 298 was today's yardage of the hole. Ah, oh, I thought it was a lot longer. So did I. I don't think she got quite the bounce. She hit it, well, had to deal with more of an upslope on the release there. As it is, Patty hit seven iron. This is no more than seven. Sure would like to have an immediate comeback. Bounce back. One good shot will take care of it. It's left of the hole. Plenty of club, it looks like. Yeah, should have that for an eagle. I got so green. What a seven iron. Only 298. You know, Only two. I, it's, I thought she was up level with those uh, bunkers on the left. Not quite there. Still a huge right, drive from Angel. Yeah. This is weird. I don't want to be able to Enjoying her time out there. Certainly has been a really good week here at Lake Nona for the Gamebridge LPGA. And this is Nelly just a moment ago, her third. Yeah, up green line, which is not ideal. Downwind pitch, caught a little bit of a jumper. And not much to stop it past that hole. Nearly stopped it with the flagstick. <laughs> so there's a 
mention that was a moment ago. Now live on the green and Angel Yin with an eagle putt to get those two shots back that she dropped on the previous hole. Yeah, tough one to judge speed. She's putting the first third of it uphill and the last two thirds downhill and looking very shiny at this point. So quick. Patty Tabatanik had a horrible lie up near the green but did chop it out to about six feet. Yeah, the viewer, Jerry, can really see the difference in the color, how it's dark going up the slope. Um, very, very light going down the slope. Uh, that crest of the hill, what, some 18 feet from the hole? Yeah, at least. Yeah, perfect. Angel playing in the final group the second time uh, in her career on a Sunday. She uh, did so in Canada a few years ago when Brooke Henderson won in um, Regina. Tough thing here is where you're standing, you know you have it uphill the first third. And that's what you feel, that's what your instincts judge for speed. But you have to hit it so much softer than that. Easy to gun it by. Yeah, past the hole gets pretty quick, doesn't it? Or is it different angle from there, Jerry? Yeah, it's actually right up to the edge of the hole, it's downhill, then it flattens out. That's gonna get there. And that could go into that little gully. That's such a mistake there from Angel, who's not guaranteed herself a birdie. Outside of that performance in the final group in Canada, the majority of her best finishes on tour, she's played well on Sunday to play herself up the leaderboard, including at the US Women's Open, where she finished tied for second back in 2019. She shot 68 on the final day, was the clubhouse leader. And Jong Un Lee, six, when ended up. Uh, being the champion, beating Angel by two. Now, Nelly Corder. Playing quickly, as is her way. Very cool, calm, and collected today. Wore the peach uh, shirt. She said it's the closest she had to red for Tiger, as many players have done today. Oh, another good effort. Speed's just not quite right on those today, but three under through nine with the lead, that's pretty tough to beat. Yeah, 16 under may well be good enough to get it done. Back nine, front nine on this golf course, um, visually a good bit different. The back nine is more open, um, plays along the lake a great deal, or one of the lakes. Well, here is the closest pursuer at the 10th, world number one, Jin Young Ko. That was from 153, six on, and it's left. So rare for her to make a mistake, uh, that big a mistake. Shots back is Jin Young Ko. Monica Sorensen has made the turn. She's in the final group off the 10th today. That's a good husband for you. He said, Beauty, I don't care where it goes. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, girl. That nice Flag high there at the first. And we'll go back over to the ninth and Angel Yin for mm. birdie. Yeah, I must make emotionally, I think, Tom. After coming off a double bogey to three putt for par, just be pouring salt into the wound uphill. I think she needs a little bit more of touch putting and not quite so aggressive. Uh, the little parts of the game are sometimes the hardest parts of the game when you're under pressure. Uh, when you can stand up and make a full swing at something, uh, you release a little of your, your nerves, your, your nervous system doesn't play as big a part as with a little shot. So Angel Yeah knocks it on the green in two at the night. Still not in for par. Has fallen back after that double bogey at eight to 11 under. And Nelly Corder has a four shot lead. Today's coverage is brought to you by Gainbridge, direct access to trusted financial products giving your future a boost. Learn more at Gainbridge.life. And by Volunteers of America.
Par four, tenth, Jin Young Ko, third shot. Ball is sitting down in this sand. Really tough bunker shot to get it close. Fall off over the other side of the flag, off the green. And I think uh, coming up short was pretty predictable. I think she was hoping for a little more chunk and run on that and uh, didn't get the run. If she doesn't make that, it will be again a five shot lead for Nelly Corda. Monica for birdie at the first. No. Oh. She said she had quite a bit on her mind uh, today. She's got to get her son to Henrik Stenson's son's birthday. She's got to finish playing the LPGA on. event. I mean, it's busy day. It's a different Nana. time in her life these days. Nelly Corda into a very strong win. That started off pretty far, right? She did it yesterday, though, and turned it over. Really good. See yeah. any flaws in that swing, Judy? <laughs> You've been looking for five years now. Hi. I've been very vocal about it. I want that swing. <laughs> this is not bad either. Only 298 on the ninth. And uh, Jerry, what was it? 340, 350 at the Solheim Cup in Des Moines in 2017? Two drives of 342. Two. And yeah. two separate days. Not wind dated. It was pretty impressive. That started a little left. Needs to sit down. That's not bad. Par putt up on the green at 10 for Jin Young Ko, Karen. Well, and her putting stats dramatically improved from the second round to the third round. She spent a lot of time with her coach, Gareth Rafluski, on the putting green afterwards. Showed us some videos of what she was doing on the course and was able to make the adjustment. I think this is pretty important right now. Oh. Really uncharacteristic second shot there, Judy. I rarely see her. Um, I've seen her miss a green, certainly, but that was a big miss. The hole on the other side of the green. So, what a 25 yard miss. So, the lead is five for Nellie Corda with nine holes to play to 12. And Sarah Kemp looking for a fourth straight birdie. Is it going to get there? She bypassed birdie at the 16th yesterday and just went ahead and hold out from the fairway for an eagle to 16th. Best career finish a second. In Australia her homeland a couple of years ago Celine Boutier was the winner. OK Judy time for our course setup. It's brought to you by the Golf Course Superintendents Association of America. Lake Nona. Yeah, and uh, thanks to Brandon Ritchie and his uh, staff, this place is absolutely beautiful. Bermuda grass fairways that are pretty near perfect. The greens uh, just roll beautifully and they can get pretty darn quick. Um, uh, standard 36, 36, 72 par. Bogey free start for Lexi Thompson through nine, Karen. Yeah, and she's been playing pretty steady. Uh, disappointed on the ninth not to walk off with a birdie but this whole location and this green is just tough two under for the day through 10 11 under for the tournament she's tied for second but five shots in arrears of her Solheim Cup teammate Nelly Corda. Lydia Ko as you see is tied for fifth Lydia led Karen after the first two rounds and shot 72 here at her home club yesterday. Yeah, and, and as, the, as the week has progressed for Lydia, her, her stats have been slowly getting worse, you know, across the board, hitting less fairways, hitting less greens and taking more putts. And, you know, this is what we've seen, seen now. But um, she could do with obviously making this one for par, but then maybe jumping on the next hole, which is the par five. Oof. And she too missed the green left, short and left. And that's a tough bogey. Nine pars and a bogey for Lydia Ko. Almost every green at this golf course is kind of perched up. It's sort of a, a consistent part of the design of this golf course. I think it makes 
I think every green that you play to, it makes it just a little bit more difficult. The look is more difficult. Let's see who's in the comfort zone. Presented by Zenus. And take a look at how Nelly has played through 54 holes. And you see the harmony there between greens and regulation and the total birdies. Second in both. Driving accuracy. It's tied for 31st, but Judy at 78%. Not like she's spraying it all over the golf course. And nothing to shout about with the putting numbers, but you know, if you hit greens consistently, your putting numbers, unless you're gonna have one of those very hot rounds, are gonna be a little bit higher. It is getting hot in here. 86 degrees heat index. Nelly by five. Angel Yen. 145 dead into the teeth. Pretty tucked hole location. You got to favor left of it a little bit. That's more than she wanted, though. Angel got within a couple and a double bogey at the eighth right as we were coming on the air. I love it. We hit this basically with the same wind yesterday. We hit it 116. It needs to be a fraction left of this hole to finish. Okay, half a flag stick or so over the sprinklers. Each day I get more and more impressed with Jason's caddying ability. This is a pitching wedge. You heard the number 116. Nelly has averaged three more greens in regulation per day than both of her fellow competitors. Such a consistently pure ball striker. Right where Jason told her to hit it. You know, I love length off the tee, and I certainly love players who hit fairways, but the GIR, the greens and regulation stat, is a huge stat um, when it comes to scoring. Nelly Corda and Jason McDeed have made quite a combo. Jason does such a great job with being positive. Sometimes I do get a little aggravated when he's a little too positive, but he, it's a good balance. <laughs> Uh, Nelly suggested a place for Jason and his longtime girlfriend Caroline Masson to get married down in the Sarasota area where Nelly makes her home now. That was going to happen last year during the week of Portland. They've had to move it back because of COVID. Here's Tava Tannick at the 10. Exactly 116 as well with the wedge. This flirting with the right edge of the green. Oh, yeah. Good shot. 21 years old from Thailand, a collegiate superstar right. at UCLA. To 12, and a two-time major champion, N.G. Chun. It's gonna flirt. She'll settle for a tap in birdie. She is rebuilding the form that took her as high as number three in the world rankings. Nelly Corda is number four in the world, but a chance to move up. She leads by five in search of her first victory on U.S. soil. Gets out of the way for Angel Yin. Long birdie putt at 10. Hard to get much longer on the screen. And through a little valley, then up a tiny slope, and it gets away from her at the end. We'll definitely test her touch. And that needs to go. Back to back three putts for Angel. One for double bogey, one for par at the par five ninth. Repping her home club, Hacienda, back in Southern California. Now makes her home here in the Central Florida area, here in Orlando. Born and raised in SoCal. Tell you, if you live in the Orlando area and you're on either the PGA Tour or the LPGA Tour, there's a lot of fellow professionals to go practice with. Nelly for a six-shot lead. Turning just a bit left. I needed more speed on that line. 
In fact, Judy, Nelly's home club is where the PGA Tour is playing the WGC Workday Championship. Oh, that's right. Concession. Concession. Mm -hmm. Well, look who's watching. Pat Hurst, the Solheim Cup captain. She's got her eyes on both Angel Yen and Nelly Korda. Angel was a captain's pick in 2017 when she was a rookie on the LPGA Tour. And Pat, after three Solheim Cups assisting Julie Inkster, takes the reins for 2021 at Inverness, and she'll oppose Katrina Matthew, who led that spirited rally at Glen Eagles. Two of the most popular players on the LPGA Tour over an awful long time. At the 12th, Jessica Corda. She won a month ago over at the Four Seasons Golf and Sports Club, the weekend that their dad Peter had a birthday. And now after Jessica had a birthday yesterday, Nellie is trying to win this week. This is Tabitha Tannikett. This will be for two in a row to get her back to only within six. She can't afford any missed opportunities to make a run at it. That was a good effort, too. Boy, it took a right-hand turn. Mm. Still a rookie, technically. There is going to be a Rookie of the Year award handed out this year. There was not last year. So all those who were rookies in 2020 are eligible for that. Patty is one of them. Yeah, I think it was such a stop-start season. And um, then some events where people just couldn't play that uh, that was really a good idea. Watch his turn. Oh my. I think it's right she now makes her home here in the Orlando area plays over at Isleworth. Something of a sister club here to Lake Nona. They squared off at the uh, Tavistock Cup. Jerry you covered a few of those didn't you? Yeah they were a lot of fun. That uh, was a nice Nice bonus for that to then morph into Tiger's hero event in Albany, also a sister club to the Tavistock group here with Nona and Alworth. But uh, that was the early years, especially when it was just members riding around in carts with shorts and a few styrofoam cups in the competition. <laughs> Angel for par. Must make. Otherwise, that smile is going to be hard to find, turning a little left. Yeah, the red shirt and the talk of Tiger, I have to say, uh, uh, on the men's tour and on the women's tour today, the red and black that uh, we are seeing, Tiger lifted, you know, all boats mm. in our world. In fact, Tiger lifted the ship of the golf industry, and uh, we, uh, we wish him so well. You saw him hit a lot of amazing shots and do some great things covering him all those years, Judy. I kind of saw him grow up, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he he kind of taught me to how to grow up in the business, you know. So, um, boy, what a treat! What a treat! And let's just hope uh, we see him healthy. Amen. Nelly's kind of growing up in front of us here. Fifth season, still just 22 years old. Time for our consumer cellular worth talking about. We look at Nelly with the lead. Four of those seven previous times she had the lead outright, and she won two of them. She won the Australian Open 2019 and then the Taiwan Swinging Skirts LPGA. Lost that playoff. She shared the lead with Brooke Henderson going into the final round of the A&A Inspiration. And Mi Rim Lee started holing out from all over the Coachella Valley. Beat them in the playoff. Over on the other side of the course, and a fourth shot at the par five for Annika. She and her husband Mike and their kids Ava and Will all decked out in red and black. She played with Tiger in one of those nights under the lights. Oh, I did that show. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. In that the was, desert. Uh, at Bighorn. Well, Judy, we've talked about it. A lot of different ways to look at this, but uh, Annika. Uh, forever cemented her place, not just in women's golf history, but in all of sports history. 72 wins. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, 
I suppose in golf, the most disciplined person I've ever seen. Mm. Uh, I think uh, she gave 100% of what she had to her playing career, and uh, that built that resume. She told us afterwards, she came up and saw us here by the booth and said, I gave it everything I had. I just didn't have a whole lot. Yesterday, shot 79. Made a long putt, though, at the ninth. What was it, 25 feet or so for par to close it out? That was her last hole. The emotion expended, Tom, I would have to think, was uh, an awful lot those first few days, Veronica. Yeah, just to uh, make the cut here. Third for Jin Young Ko at the par five. Yeah, hit a drive a bit left, laid up to here. And uh, I think that's a smart play with this flag tucked so close to that left side, it falls off so quickly. So expect lots of shots out to that right of the flag today. Yeah, some trees in the bunker that sort of protect the green from the second shot. And we go all the way back to the tee with Nelly Corder. Breeze helping a little bit from the right. See second to play. She wouldn't mind walking it down there and dropping it next to Patty Tavitanikit's drive, which on this measuring hole is a little over 290. Some power in this final group. Yes, there is. Turns a little, get a little more roll. You know when the super mask getting hard. Let's see if she can get home in two here. It, uh, has been out of range for almost all of the field. As we take a look at Nelly Corder's goal swing going after this one. It's still a great tempo. Back at the 11th, Lexi Thompson, just short of the green in two. Got the putter out here, Karen. She does. Very. I like this play. It's such a steep slope. Doesn't have any green to use once the ball gets on the green. Hit a five iron down to this point. Massive drive. Oh, it's got to get up the hill. Yeah, has it got enough pace? Yes. Yes. So Lexi with an eagle. Hello. Within three of the lead. So this makes things a little more interesting here at the Gamebridge LPGA. Lexi. Oh. Putting her name in the hat here to, yeah, no wonder she's got a big smile. Potentially come from behind to win. Just a five iron second shot, flying it over those trees to get it there wasn't easy, Karen. Yeah, no, but with it, she made it look easy though with a five iron. Yeah, it's a bit of protection from the front left of that green with the trees. Now, Lydia Ko for birdie, steamy. Lydia got it almost to the front edge of the of the green on the very far right side though. So that shows you, I mean, you were talking about how difficult the it is from this right side. It leaves a very quick part down and that's what you can end up with. Here's a ridge in the middle of the green. It goes from front to back, sort of separates the two halves of the putting surface. Players knocking on in two over on the right side, and that leaves a difficult putt. So we just saw the eagle. Um, get, here's the world rankings, and we're about to see Jin Young Ko putt for birdie. Jin Young Ko, 91 weeks at the top of the world rankings ever since the summer of 2019. Say Young Kim made the cut here this week, but has uh, been well down the running. Yeah, and so along with her putt for birdie, Jerry tells us that the three back in the fairway can get home. So 11 uh, looking like a very pivotal par five. I think so, Judy. I mean, in this green too, there is some contour that the players can use if they land it on the green, but I mean, I can't stress enough how actually difficult Lex's putt was from off the green. It's such a steep slope there. Say Young Kim, three under for the day, by the way. And she is uh, tied for 41st. But she's had six birdies today. The you know, PGA Tour remains in Central Florida. We go about 90 miles to the north up to Ocala for the LPGA Drive-On Championship at Golden Ocala. 
First round coverage comes your way Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Going back to a place where the LPGA has been before. To the Coates Golf Championship. Well, Nellie's having to wait as she often does. She's one of the fastest players on tour. I definitely have to make sure that I am a little slower because I do speed up a little. I am a fast player in general, but when I get under the gun, I tend to speed it up a little too much. Take a look at her three career victories. This is what Judy and I were talking about earlier. All three happened overnight in the U.S. All three huge wins beating Jin Young, Kobe, Minji Lee. A couple of those times, but just for U.S. golf fans to be able to see her. I don't care about the score, let's just go. Tonight Are in prime fast? time. Oh, yeah, oh, there Amy is, yeah. Uh, Amy's a little slow, but G's good. But they're all, like, really good. I think they're like, talking about who's fast and who's slow, maybe. Yeah, they're not, like, screaming at the golf course. Not like you. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Over at the 17th, this is Danny Holmquist. Coming towards the end of her week. One under for the day. Might be three under here. Oh, that was close. And she's tied for 20th right now. So looking to move uh, maybe inside the top 15 with a couple of birdies to finish. The thing is, we can't even use the right side because there's a bunch of long, long grass. But it's either going to short she has just told him to back off. She's got it. <laughs> <laughs> in not very subtle terms. 246 numbered at the hole. In line with the flag sticks, that's 241 to the edge. You have to get really lucky to get this on the green on the left side. But you want to leave yourself the easiest up and down you can. Well, that was smacked. That is, I mean, an excellent line just right of the hole if it cares. Get up. I'm not opposed. That looks like it did, the wind shut off a little bit right now. That's all right. We've just seen Lexi hole one from there. Easy shot. Yeah. I mean, I don't feel the wind I felt 30 seconds ago. I like this club right now. Same target. Not just the right easy. side of that grassy bunker. It's plenty. It's perfect. It's so easy to see where the ball goes. It's, the flag is right through those trees. Judy, you like, love the telestrator, don't you? You could just telestrate it for us, but might not have time there. Switch from the hybrid to the seven wood. Another quality shot just right of Angels. Where did that end up? Well, good question. It's got to be in that deep, grassy bunker short. Yeah, this is a part of uh, the way the golf course is manicured. There are some areas around the greens that have rough uh, that are kind of like a grass bunker, not always hollowed out, though. Interesting to watch. Yeah, some tough shots around the greens. Nelly Porter has handled it well so far this week. Three under for the day, leads by three on Sunday at Lake Nona. Back on the 11th hole, the final group, Nelly Korda, Patty Tavatanikit, and Angel Yin. And they're talking about Nelly Korda's ball ending up in that uh, grass bunker short. It's an awful lie, too. That almost looks like it's plugged. Wow, we can't even see it there from yeah. the camera behind. Just going to go first, and she's going to chip this. So, different strategy from the one that we saw from Lexi. And so many players nowadays don't really choke down on that lob wedge or sand wedge duty when they hit these shots. I know. I, I just I find that really interesting. Uh, you know, Dave Stockton, um, great short game teacher, great putter. Um, I believe he teaches that you don't need to go down on the grip; that you can play at full length. Thinned it. Yeah. Yeah, completely. They are tight lies, but that was an uphill lie. Shouldn't thin that one too often. 
Well, Lexi saw the shot along the ground and she hold it. Angel saw it in the air and thinned it. And I don't know what shot Nelly's going to see here. It's the old chop and hope. Yeah, you know, in the bunker, there's a shot where you don't have a through swing and it ball just pops up in the air. Let's see if it's similar. Uh -oh. oh, dear. But not enough energy. That was just such a short shot. A longer shot from that lie would have been so much easier because you get some club head speed to get it out of there. Well, she's playing such good golf. You can see what she's trying to do. Just trying to get cute with it. You're confident the way you're playing, trying to get it close. You know, Jerry, the shot would have been to get it on the green and give herself a chance, but she's got to kind of play the same one again here. Yeah, exact she? same try, yeah, but this is a severe, I mean, probably more than 45 degree upslope. You really realize that when you take your stance. It's pretty good. Yeah. Great shot. You should save the par on a hole, though, that she was looking to make uh, eagle or birdie. Lexi Thompson only three behind. Yeah, it's getting interesting, isn't it? At the 18th, Anna Nordquist got to play the first two days with Annika Sorenstam, whose foundation awarded their very first collegiate scholarship yes. to Anna. And it was a week she didn't know what ever happened. She turned pro 2009, the year after Annika stepped away from the game. And this is what Anna grammed earlier. Great to be back on tour. Grateful for the opportunity to walk inside the ropes with the GOAT for the first time. How about Anna in her own right? Fifth start as an LPGA Tour member wins a major championship. Carrying on that great tradition of Swedes on the LPGA Tour. That's right, it was at uh, Bullet Rock. The uh, old LPGA championship, no, no, it was the KPMG Women's PGA. Tabby Tanikat for Eagle. Yeah, great shot in here from 225. Just annihilated the tee shot. Bit of a misread there, but should be an easy birdie. Yeah, it's funny, it kind of breaks from the front to the back of the green at, at the front of the green. You'd and think you, it would go the other way. You can't see it, it's, yeah. it's really deceiving. Players to win from Thailand, Aria and Moria both winners. Jasmine Sawanapura has won a couple as well. Moria and Aria are members at Lake Nona, but they have not returned to the US after their winter break. So uh, they are not in the field here this week, but uh, it must have been a tough decision for them to miss this one because they will know this golf course very well. Patty. As uh, Grant was mentioning, still very much in the early stages of her LPGA Tour career. This will gain her some great experience. Angel Yin now for the birdie. Looks really speedy where she's standing because it's a downhill slope, but then you put through that little valley that forced Patty's putt to break right, so it's not nearly as quick as you think. Played so well yesterday with that round of uh, 65 equaling the low round of the week. And she said that the putts started to drop. That was the big difference. And we've seen the putts not drop in our coverage today. Let's go to 12. Lydia Ko, second shot. That was from 149. A little bit into off the right with the wind. Sixty-five on Thursday. Sixty-nine. Friday led after the first two days and uh, tied for fifth at the moment. Important one here, this for par. Yes, and not the easiest read, especially after watching Patty's putt break what looked to be uphill from the other side of the hole. That's a five. A bit of a miscue, but you could say she was very unfortunate to be in such a horrible lie short of the green. But no damage. Still three ahead. Patty Tavitanikit. Yeah. 
shouldn't be much to it at all. They seem to be greens where uh, you're well served to watch other people's putts before you putt mm. because mm. they are tricky reads, no doubt. Good experience for her today, Judy. Uh, sure, it is a good experience for her, and I think sometimes when you're um, when, when you're really close with a teacher and they do what Grant Waite's doing this week, um, walking alongside, caddying. Uh, it may give him some insight into how to help her to move forward. Golf Channel and the LPGA Tour welcome you back to Lake Nona Golf and Country Club. It's the second event of 2021 on the LPGA Tour and the second playing of the Gainbridge LPGA, Grant Boone, Judy Rankin, Tom Abbott, Jerry Foltz, Karen Supples, our entire crew, and a home week for Annika Sorenstam, back home on the LPGA Tour for the first time since 2008, made the cut on the number, and that close to a birdie at the first, wearing red and black in honor of her good friend Tiger, like so many on the PGA Tour and LPGA Tour, Nelly Korda started the final round with a one-shot lead, made birdies at two and five, and then this approach at the sixth would lead to another birdie, five pars since then, and Nelly, who at one point led by five, has seen that lead shrink to three because Lexi Thompson just rolled in an eagle putt from off the green at the 11th. World number one, Jin Young Ko, tied for third, young American angel Yen, and the second year player from Thailand, Patty Tabatanika, a UCLA superstar. As we take it to the 12th and the final group in Jerry Foltz is with Nelly Corda. A little breeze from the right with some help in it. Just a hair late on the timing there, out to the right, not much. Top 10 Judy in total driving the last three years for Nelly Corda. No surprise. Yeah, not surprised. Um, the... Get back to that in a minute. Up ahead at the 12th, Lexi Thompson. Hit a drive left and then in the rough with a second and over the back to here. Used a putter from off the green at the 11th made eagle. Made one from off the green with a putter at 17 yesterday. This time from the rough, Judy. Yeah, it's an interesting proposition when you elect to take the putter from grass that long. Mm -hmm. Well, what looked like a cakewalk just a few minutes ago is now a little tighter, although Lexi has a testy putt for par. Here is number one of the world, Jin Young Ko. This is quite a slippery putt, breaking left. Just slips past. Did not play a month ago at the Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions, so this is her season debut. Didn't come to the U.S. from Korea until late last year. Played four events, won the CME Group Tour Championship, and incredibly, in just four starts, won the money title. Well, next week, the PGA Tour Spring Swing stays here in Central Florida. The Arnold Palmer Invitational coverage Thursday at 2 o'clock on Golf Channel, continuing Saturday at 2.30 Eastern on NBC. Lexi. Gets that one to drop, but she drops a shot. And the lead is four for Nelly Corda. I mean, Karen, as we think about these first two events, you had Jessica Corda, Danielle Kang, Nelly Corda in the final group at the Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions, and just an absolutely star-packed leaderboard, including Lydia Ko here this week. Well, and I just think all the players that, you know, after, you know, the COVID layoff for a number of these players, they were just really ready to get back and playing. And I think that, you know, it just feels like a nice fresh start for everybody. And I think they're all just so chomping at the bit to get going. And uh, they've had, you know, and also they haven't had that big layoff too at the end of the season. They've just been able to roll over from the CME straight into these two events here. It's only a month off. 
Good putt for Lydia. Tom mentioned the Jatana Garns, who called this their home club, opted not to come back. Lydia wasn't going to come back until she found out that Lake Nona, her home course, home club, would be hosting this game for Joe PGA. It wasn't announced until just a few weeks ago. Wanted to play with Annika, play at their home club. It's been a good week for Lydia. It's been a great week for Nelly, whose lead is now four. She's number four in the world. She's looking ahead at number one, Jin Young Ko. Well, I think if Jin Young hadn't had such a poor putting day in the second round, I mean, it would be a lot more interesting. She was nearly half a stroke better, Karen, in putts per green in regulation from Saturday back to Friday. And as you documented earlier, her work with Gareth Rafluski after that second round paid immediate dividends. The green is clear, final group back in the fairway or near it. Yesterday we hit, yesterday we hit a 139 iron. So, I mean, I like this club. I like it right now, 140 with a little uphill lie. Good, buddy. Thought she might be going with the nine again. This is a little eight. 148 is the actual yardage, adjusting for the wind at 140. Hole looks pretty accessible, Jerry. It is, if it sits down. Hitting a lot of greens, only average missing uh, less than three per round coming into the day and has missed three today, but just such a dependable ball striker, Judy. Best round on the course today, four under, and one of those scores belongs to Jenny Shin. This is her third at 18. Very close to the penalty area and very close to holding out for a 67. A touch more wind maybe consistently today, Judy, than we've seen. Yeah, I think the wind is a little bit more of a factor today, but that was a good little shot played by Jenny Shin. I know she's playing a good round of golf. Angel Yin was just two back <laughs> until a double bogey at the eighth, then three putt at the ninth for par. This is at 12. Just trying to dial in a wedge from 129. And look, left, it's a good. Looked like a good stroke. Good shot. All right. Yeah. So for the chasers now, it's starting to be a little bit urgent. You're going to run out of holes if you don't yeah, make a birdie or two and keep yourself in this. And for um, Nelly Corda, it's just a matter of keep hitting greens. Keep hitting greens. Uh, you can't make give yourself too much trouble. Now have a just one yard closer, smooth wedge, but it's pulled. It's going to spin back as well, I think. Boy, you pay a price here if you play close to the edges. 17. Zan Van Dam, another player who is a member here at Lake Nona, lives here in the winter. Had not a great day today, three over par. And that's a good one, maybe a birdie at the par three, 17th. Made a seven at 15, the par five. Had four sevens and an eight so far today on that par five because of the whole location. Back over to the 18th. This is Danny Holmquist, couple under today. Three under today. Thirty-two-year-old in her seventh season, the LPGA Tour, born in Bern, Switzerland, makes her home in Jupiter, Florida area. Thirteen. Beautiful looking par three with Lydia Ko on the tee. And Tom, they've given you the whole location you've been asking for. That back left. Tucked over the bunker. That's one of the best you've seen. The follow-through was tremendous. She really got through that one well. It is a very tricky par three. They've moved the tee over to the far left tee box, so uh, it's even more 
over the water in the bunker and then with that whole location it makes it very difficult Karen. It really does and with this wind direction too sort of slightly into and off the left you kind of feel like you've got to aim it right at the flag to keep it on the green and it feels very claustrophobic. That one's in the middle of the bunker that's going to leave a really mm. difficult bunker shot for Jin Young Ko. Yeah that's no fun. Second shot that she's missed left Tom. And not a lot of room behind the flag from that angle before it goes down into the gully and off the green so that makes it even more difficult second hardest hole on the course today the 13th the hardest hole for the week that par three let's go to 12. how tough is this third for tabatanica um it's about a nine on the difficulty scale that's a lob it up there the green does slope toward her which gives her a fighting chance if she has proper contact jumped a little Had to air long, didn't you? Yeah, you're going to hit it again. That'll be for par. Nelly and Angel have birdie putts in a moment to 13. Lexi Thompson trying to bounce back. Well, and with Lexi's length, Tom, this just makes it a little bit easier. Um, shorter club in your hand to a sort of tighter hole location kind of allows a player a little bit more freedom and flexibility with regards to their targets, but the it's a little bit gusty for the players right now on the, the back of this tee. They go through periods of there being hardly any wind at all back there to, to moments of it feeling quite strong. And you get a sense of that when you're watching the ripples on the on the lake in front of this tee. Occasionally you'll get some bigger waves and keep coming. sometimes it'll be flat. Try and to keep coming, that's going to end up off the green. Oof. It's going to be very slow from there back up the hill. Yeah, a lot of undulation in these greens that affect shots into the greens. It's a four shot lead for Nelly Corda. This for birdie at 12. Good look. Pretty slow up the hill, turning a little right. Try. Great pop. She left a couple short. That when she got to the hole. She knows Angel Yen very well. Not only were they rookies on the LPG Tour in 2017, but a couple of years before that, they had played on the Ping Junior Solheim Cup team for the U.S. It was the first time that the Junior Solheim Cup team for the USA had won on European soil. There are Nelly and Angel, Andrea Lee, Haley Moore in there, Sierra Brooks, Haley Cooper, Megan Kang just below Nelly there, and Joanne Carner, Judy right in the middle of it all. As she tends to be. Yeah, certainly as she tended to be. But uh, best I know, Joanne still plays a hole or two of golf now and then. Uh, she loves to go out on the boat and fish. Uh, she is uh, doing pretty well, and I hope she's watching today. And she played that first U.S. Senior Women's Open, which was uh, so fun to watch. And Annika hopes to play the uh, next one here later this summer. Tava Tanikin. Such an impressive showing this week. Impressive player. Just trying to get her feet under out here on the LPJ. Three time winner on the Symmetra Tour. Pretty good amateur career as well. But a big mistake here, leaving that for par with a wedge in your hands. And now four feet for bogey. Tough start, bogey at the first. And Van Damme for a birdie at the 17th. Gets her back to two over for the day, two under for the week. And as you can see, it's been a very mixed day since the ninth. Eagle and a double on there, a few bogeys, a couple of birdies now. And one to play in what has been uh, quite a special week for all those players that practice and play here at Lake Nona. Well, Angel just tore apart the back nine. Yesterday shot 65 30 on the back. She's five back at the moment. Nelly no better than par here. And a chance for Angel to stay alive here with a chance. She certainly has the firepower to do so. She can reel off birdies and bunches. We've seen it throughout her brief career now, just 22 years old. She needs this one though. 22, 22, and 21. Very young. Tons of talent yes. amongst these three players. Jerry, you were talking about Patty a couple of minutes ago, and now, now we look at Angel. 
I think as uh, young players and particularly the, the young stronger players um, need to give more consideration to where you miss it on a golf course. Couldn't agree more. But it's the power era now and it's starting to make its way into the women's game as well. Oh, good putt. Stays within arm's length. Angel Yen creeps to within four of her junior Solheim and Solheim Cup teammate Nelly Korda. Nelly trying to win for the fourth time. at the 13th and Tom just these last couple of holes she's really hit some good quality irons and she's planned to walk off with back to back birdies it's Lydia Ko to 11 on the par 5 back another Lake Nona resident lives on the golf course here so Jin Young Ko's tee shot way into that bunker and a very difficult bunker shot she played to here which wasn't such a bad effort Karen no I mean it was tremendous um, she was really you know you had two options you either had to play a perfect shot or you were going to leave it in the bunker and um, this is good I mean she's literally just landed it maybe six inches on the edge of the green and this is about as good as she was going to get I mean it's such a crisp sound as she went through the sand it was perfect well, she was looking actually at 12 feet of green to work with. But it is going to be a drop shot for Jin Young Ko. So bogey at 10, bogey at 13, and she goes two over for this back nine. Back to level par for the day. And six behind Nelly Korda. I didn't uh, really expect that. I thought she would uh, contend. Yeah, played her way into the mix with her golf on Saturday, Jin Ko. That round of 66 hasn't been the case today. Lexi for par. Yeah, and uh, it was a pretty good effort from, from down in that little swale. Yeah, it's just such a slow part back up the hill. I don't think I've seen a single player today get the ball to the hole from down in that little swale you were talking about, Karen. But no damage for Lexi. Stays at 12 under. And she will head to the short par 4, 14th. And then 15 is the par 5. The team moved up slightly today. So some excitement coming up over the next few holes. And there's excitement here at 13 because it's so tricky. A little bit of breeze into off the left here, Jerry. Mm hmm And I mentioned it yesterday, very easy hole to be a caddy on. There's so little advice to be given. Tell them what you think it's playing. Help them get the right club in their hand, and then it's up to them to either hit. Or you're going to be looking at a good chance of bogey here. It's not, a, not even a good shot. It has to be a great shot to get it up there on that back part of the green. Just no place to miss it. This should be seven iron. That was a good swing. Go. Oh, it's Go such low. a good looking here, shot in the air. Stay there. It's going to be good on the ground. Well, Lydia Ko just hold one from there. advantage uh, for the players that can hit it long and high like Nelly Corder with a, a green like this Jerry yeah inside that sticky tree it's going to be good I think this carries 55 no problem Let's just let this go by I don't like this one right here yeah, I'm a tie buddy put your good golf swing on it give you that's why he's not moving the ideal shot is a draw it gives you more green to work with but it's uh 
not easy to do here, especially with the breeze a little off the left as well. This is seven iron. It is going to try and draw it. Oh, this has potential if it's the right club. Oh, steady. Just up against that collar of rough. Better than potentially going into the bunker or into the, the thick rough. Some gators around here, wildlife at Lake Nona. We've spotted lots there. There are even deer inside the gates. Nelly Korda began the day with a one-shot lead. She's led by as many as five today. Lead is currently four over Lexi Thompson, who got within three briefly after an eagle at the 11th. Golf course is playing about a stroke tougher than it did yesterday. That's that blustery wind that uh, picks up and then lays for a bit. Saw the name of Marissa Steen, Monday qualifier. Sarah Schmelzel, the low round of the day, 67. Ryan O'Toole played in the final group yesterday. Really had a tough go of it. But nice comeback for Ryan today to shoot one under. Morgan Pressel is going to join us on our coverage next week of the LPGA Drive-On Championship up at Golden Ocala. It's presented by Volvic. You know, there was no Rookie of the Year award last year, Judy, but Yelimi No finished 25th on the money list as a first-year player. Yeah, we think, we think there's the possibility we see Yelimi No on the Solheim Cup team. Pat Hurst is here, U.S. captain. <laughs> Madeline Sackstrom finished birdie, birdie, eagle, playing with Annika Sorenstam and Anna Nordquist on Friday to make the cut on the number, the defending champion this week. And Wailing She has the honor today of playing with the great Annika Sorenstam. Have a tanakit for a birdie okay. here. Three really good shots out of this group. No wonder they're playing the final group on Sunday, Tom. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's been kind of a mixed day, hasn't it, for Patty? Well, you get off to a start like she did, and then throw in the double bogey on seven, and you you really got your back against the wall. Now it's just a matter of trying to eke out a few more places up the leaderboard and and build the confidence of being in this position, experiencing uh, the nerves that you might not normally experience on a weekend. Well, that looked quicker than it was. The 13th Angel Yin, four shots back, but has a chance for a birdie here. Very good chance, but uh, 
Nelly's got a really good look from just off the left side of the green as well. Nelly's ball seems to have bumped away from that uh, cut of rough. It was dropped away from the cut of rough. She wouldn't have been too much impeded where it originally came to rest, but uh, she was standing on a sprinkler head, so it's vastly improved now. Uh, thanks, Jerry. She'll move just a little left for Angel here. Made a really nice one, very similar to this on the previous hole. Good. Mm. Putter started to work again. Birdie at 12, birdie at 13 for Angel Yin. Is that uh, mess at the eighth uh, of the double bogey? And the three putt par at nine. That's right, she did three putt. Well, they had uh, a new irrigation system here last summer. They went from 900 sprinkler heads to 2,400. So it may have helped out Nelly here. Yes, a little quick, sliding a little right, but very makeable. it down there the pot. that would have felt like a bonus if it had gone in her ball jerry i mean it, it was close to hopping into that rough or the bunker off the tee and what a big difference that would have made walks away with the par a couple of players were saying at the beginning of the week four under par each day they felt was uh, going to be the number and 16 under leads right now this is the fourth shot at the 15th for Jessica Cord. It's playing so difficult today, this 15th, because they've put the flag right up on that back shelf. And that's a good up and down. It is so steep around that green, around that shelf, especially on uh, the right side of the hole, the big fall off. So it's caused players headaches today. Let's go to 14. And not moved up today, Karen, so second shot. No, but it's still 300 yards. Lexi could have got quite close yeah. to the front of the screen as she chose to take a drive, but trying to get some spin on that. Karen, is it one that these big hitters in the final group might try to have a go at? I would think maybe so. All right, 17. It's been a really good week for Sophia Popoff. She's finishing strong. She's had two birdies in a row coming into here. Make it three in a row. Yeah. Gets her to three under four the round and tied for sixth. They're the AIG Women's Open champion getting 2021 off to a good start. She'll be defending her title at Carnoustie this summer, a couple of weeks after the Women's Olympic Golf Competition. Jin Young Ko with the 14th. Tee shot ended up in the right bunker. She hit quite a good shot. Landed close to the hole. There it is. It spun back to there, but just is still a little out of sorts on these greens. First major champion to win with uh, the flagstick in. That was at the a and a inspiration two years ago. Here is Anne Van Dam. She hopes to be back at Inverness playing for Katrina Matthew as she did in 2019 at Glen Eagles for the Solheim Cup where Last summer at Inverness for the drive on championship, her caddy was Sophia Popoff, her good friend. No, no, I was just, I was just letting you know. 14. Uh, well, I just don't see the three water was having a look. Yeah, but that's fine. Yep. Your left run out of those <laughs> pine I mean, trees is about 233 to the left rough there. Just guy in the left. This could be fun and could be important. Well, it's actually not a bad place. She's got plenty of room up there in terms of width because she's going to hit it the right distance to get over all the stuff at the corner and uh, hard to hit it in trouble unless she hits it way right or way left. She's got a big margin for error with this club and leaving herself a pretty simple 20, 30 yard pitch shot. It's that gone. might be just a hair too far right. Center of the fairway is that left side of the White House there, buddy. Jason McDee calls Nelly buddy. 
They have become friends very close as we said. That's the ball of Angel Yen. And just a note, a lot of areas look like waste areas, but all of the sandy areas are played as bunkers. Less than driver. Oh, the one arm finish with the seven would kind of popped it up, but it's has most her misses right in the middle. Good place for a straight miss. <laughs> That's about the sixth one arm finish today. Lexi up on the green at 14 for birdie. This is downhill. It's going to be quite quick. I think she knew it was going to be quick, didn't she? 11 wins for Lexi. Twice she's won twice in a year. She's the kind of player, the kind of talent, Judy, you think she could win four, five, six times in a year, isn't she? Oh, for years. sure, for sure. I think she hasn't been a strong enough putter in the past. Lydia, as strong a putter as you will ever see. Is it too late for Lydia? Who knows, she says, maybe three in a row. Nelly led by five. The lead is down to three over Yin, who's in that bunker at the 14th. Nelly in the fairway. Getting a touch closer as we come down the stretch of the Gamebridge LPGA. Ninety-nine in the air. A little left to right in it. Nelly Corda in the fairway at the 14th. Up three. That was just a gap wedge from 109. Nicely hit. Miss hit with the tee shot, but she'll have that for birdie. Yeah, I think the miss hit cost her about 50 yards, but um, she's in good shape now, good solid shape, and uh, I don't think that's a big breaking putt at all. You see the tee shot of Patty Tavitanikit, who went with driver, right, Jerry, along oh, yeah. with Angel? Yeah, it's the play I loved, especially when you have, you can really make the hole easy with one good shot and not a lot of danger in hitting it. So Angel's a similar distance, but uh, the shot is so much harder. Yeah, she's 10 yards farther right than she needed to be, and she'd have just a basic little pitch shot. We mentioned it earlier. Look at the ages of this final group. You know, since the restart last summer, the average age of the winner on the LPGA Tour is almost 29. For most of that decade of the 2010s, it seemed like every winner was 20, 19, maybe Lydia even 15, 21, 22. And the, uh, the veterans have really performed well in the last six months. This could be the anomaly. Youngest winner was Georgia Hall at 24 since the restart last summer. That was important. Okay, the challenge here we can see for Angel Yin. A good shot would be what, Jerry? Good shot to be on the green um, because just when you have a bunker shot this long, you have to carry it all the way there. A lot of things can go wrong, but uh, she can, I mean, she executes it properly. We've seen these hit up their stone dead many, many times because it's going to have some spin on it from this distance. So is she going to play it like a long? Um, she has to, yeah. Lo long bunker shot, not, yeah. not trying to pick it clean at all. No, no, she picked it clean. It would never get on the green. Needs to spin quickly. Back to that one little word I said earlier, the young players need to be more aware of where to miss it. Tabatanic at second. A little downhill line, probably gonna land it on the fringe. Oop, trying to land it on and spin it. Nicely done. And classy play for the 21 year old who was inspired in part, not just by Tiger Woods, but by her countrywoman 
former number one area Jutanagarn. The year that she won three times in a row, I actually was so motivated to try to win Ping Invitational, which I did to get um, Rolex Junior Player of the Year. Um, just, you know, kind of follow the path, and it, it's been working out pretty good. I'll say, that year was 2016, and Judy, remember how hard Aria worked to get into the winner circle, then she didn't stop winning for a while. Yeah, that's, that's true. We miss those sisters, hope they get back soon. Indeed. At the 18th, Yu Lu, former Duke Blue Devil for a season, and nearly holes out from the fairway at the 18th. It'll be for a round of 71. This is Marissa Steen for par at the 15th. Now, she Monday qualified here. She's not in the field next week. She would have to qualify uh, for the drive on championship unless she finishes in the top 10 this week. She's currently tied for 13th. She's one shot outside of the top 10 as we look at it right now. So very important three holes to come for Marissa Steen. Let's go back over to 14. And a third shot at the par four for Yen. Much easier. Yes, a little bit of an uphill line. Plenty of green with which to work. And all slopes toward her as well. Nice contact. Got a lot. Of Thought it was going to spin more. Beautiful. Good shot. <laughs> Tools are there for Angel Yen. That one big hammer that she's got with the driver. Showed great touch there with a the short game. A couple of second place finishes for Angel. Has a win on the LET. And twice has played for the US the Solheim Cup. In fact, Nelly and Angel were both rookies in 2017 and both were being considered by Julie Inkster as a captain's pick, Angel got it. Nelly is uh, probably that first player not taken. Well, now, I, don't think, yeah. Yeah, I don't think Pat Hurst was out here watching Nelly. She's on the team. She's going to be a star. I think she was keeping a close eye on Angel. Now, this is a great look yet again, turning a little left late. And once again, the speed is not there. Got it to the hole at 12. We just missed, but several putts left short. A lot of Lake Nona members playing this week, including Leona McGuire from Ireland. Hi. Nice. I'm thinking it could be hard to get a tea time here. Because <laughs> about half the people I see are members, and the other half of the people are members who are watching them play. You're going to get a good game if you do get a tee time, aren't you? Here is Tava Tanikit, like McGuire. Still technically a rookie, eligible for the Rookie of the Year award. Birdie putt. Pretty basic one at that. Not much to it at all. So many players thinking of Tiger and wearing red and black. Patty has been uh, has told us many times it was watching Tiger in 2007 that convinced her that she wanted to try to play golf professionally. She's not alone. She was eight years old. No and she telling. has perfected the fist pump. Yeah, watching him fist pump his way around and just it, it's it's incalculable the number of people Tiger Woods. And Annika Sorensen have inspired to play at all, but certainly to play professionally. Angel told me she almost put on the black pants today, Judy, but this is her typical Sunday uniform, navy and red, and she said Tiger would understand. And you know he would, and uh, I hope he's uh, well enough to watch golf today shortage of it. 
Par putt for Angel took driver. Yeah, you say. Well, she's three back and she had back to back three putts for double and for par at eight and nine. Still time. Boy, a lot can happen on the next hole, though. The par 5 15. Mm -hmm. And just uh, a putt that you wouldn't even make an opponent in a Solheim Cup putt, probably. Depends on how late on a Sunday it might be. Like Annika said, first of the week. No gimmies when I tee it up tomorrow, and I've been playing with a lot of gimmies. <laughs> After that Solheim in 2019, where Nelly was such a star for the U.S., she went and won an L.E.T. event in France the next week. It's the hardest hole on the golf course today, the 15th. It was the easiest hole on the golf course on Thursday. All about the hole location here. Angel Yin is going... Not with the driver, clubbing back. Yeah, had out driver and then went to the three wood, Judy. Why? Good question. We will answer that in a moment. Hello, you're good. It's nicely struck up the left. Might be able to still get home in two. Beautiful looking hole though. The corner's like 210, so just see your shot. Now, Nelly going with driver. Oh, hit just a beauty yesterday. Nice little draw up the left side, which is the danger side. Had a seven wood end, made an easy two putt birdie. Yeah, just a little ahead of that one. That's her miss, the straight push. Not going to be in trouble, I don't think. Yeah, it's running into the rough, so going for the green in two may be out of the question. Yes, yeah. we take a look at this week's Aeon Risk Reward Challenge Hall with Annika Sorenstam. Nice little draw off the tee would be perfect to set up for a long second shot. Uh, but then you have a green that's very undulated. Uh, the front is low, the back right is high. So it really matters how your approach shot is coming in, whether you're hitting a short iron or if you're hitting a longer wood. Uh, but if you do get it on the green, if you're right side of the plateau, you have a good chance to make eagle or even birdie. Aeon Risk Reward Challenge, finding the most consistent player over the course of the season. Best two scores from the dedica dedicated hole count each week. Player with the lowest scoring average on that hole for the season wins a million dollars. Jin Young Ko's third at 15. And no matter what the length of the third shot is here, it's really hard. It is. A, it just like tiny target it looks like from down the fairway. There's a wonderful shot there from Jin Young Ko. That's what it looks like from their view. This is Lydia Ko now. That was a moment ago. Lydia certainly knows how tough this flag is, having played here many times. But that was Lydia of old right there. That was some serious skill. Rory McIlroy teams up with Peacock to bring you the all-new Golf Pass channel. Watch premier instruction and entertainment from the golf membership program, plus daily news from Golf Channel. Sign up at PeacockTV.com and start watching now. Third shot here for Lexi. Slightly different from here, but still not easy, but... Played it so well. Really Almost good. Knock it in, knocking it in. So Lexi will have that for birdie to get to 13 under within three of the lead. Lexi has played from a similar spot every day that we have seen her play 15. That was how close it was to going in. It's about 13 paces from front to back on that shelf, but you can shave a couple of yards off that because it falls away on either side. So this is how it looks on the first page of the leaderboard. 16 under, Nelly Corder looking for that fourth career win. First on American soil would come in her home state of Florida. Marissa Steen trying to creep inside the top 10 to get into the event next week. Danny Holmquist, good round today. Round in 69. Say Young Kim, low round of the day. Watch out for Say Young going into next week. It's a 66. She finished up on the ninth hole playing 
The golf course the other way around. Now, Lydia for birdie. And good smooth stroke. Yeah. Four birdies in a row for Lydia Ko. Finding her game late in the day. That probably would have won her some of uh, the hole in some of her matches that she would have played with the members here, like Lindy Duncan and Anne Van Dam. Make a birdie on this back hole location. Yes, might have won a skin as well in the mm -hmm. skins game. And they have some good matches here. Plenty of great golf in this part of the world. Of course, the PGA Tour goes to Bay Hill next week. They played down at the Four Seasons Golf Club, uh, the LPGA, in the first event of the season. And then you go all the way back uh, to 1911 with the Country Club of Orlando, which is in town. Old Donald Ross Golf Course, beautiful place to play golf. So there's a nice variety here in this part of the world. Thank you for hosting us, Tom Abbott. Um, what a lovely place to play golf and uh, just a beautiful club. You turned back the clock, Judy, with your golf yesterday. I was very impressed. <laughs> the tempo never changes. Lexi for birdie. Oh, not, not comfortable with something. No, sometimes you just get over it and you think, wait a minute, something's not quite right. Always good to sort of back off and, and start again. But you have to quieten your mind from those, from what's just made you feel uncomfortable. Because otherwise, you're just going to repeat the same thing. Yeah, good up and down. Lexi to 13 under, part of that uh, group of challenges for Nelly Corder. It's a very comfortable lead right now. Just going to be a layup from the rough, Jerry, for yeah, Nelly. Dead into the wind, too. Just chopping a six iron out of here. Catch a flyer, it's all the better. Makes next shot a little shorter, but that's going to be fine. The left side of the fairway. This is when the, the difficulty begins on this hole, the approach. Up on that green is uh, we hear Angel Yin trying to figure out what she's going to do. Jin Young Ko has her putt for birdie to get it to 11 under. And it would be hard to imagine her missing this one, Tom. Having just watched the other two players make theirs. Yeah. All three making birdies. First group of the day where all three players make birdie at the 15th. That rough is not bad, honestly. Okay. Should we just go for it? It's not like we got anything to lose. Do you think so? Do you think this is our layup? The only thing I'm worried about is like if we just if we lay up just a little bit, it's a tricky shot. If we lay up, we lay up. You know what I'm saying? If we lay up, we only hit a 165 yards. Do you like this? I just... Not really, no. Why? Mm -hmm. It was like it could end up tricky, some tricky spots. But if you see it, just do it. Okay, you fine. See it? Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Cameras. <laughs> Well, Jerry, in answer to your question of a few minutes ago, sometimes players don't hit their driver because they don't want to be tempted to go for it. I can't answer this question. Oh, my. Sean's just looking at dollar signs right now that with one bad swing are going to disappear, but why not? 222 front. Oh, dear. And that's left. That's wet. And that crossed well back. Well, she did ask him, and he said he didn't like the play, but he didn't stick to his guns there, did he, the caddy? Left of the leaderboard, for Between sure. the tree and the leaderboard. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, I just think out of that lie, we're limited. What yeah, what's Patty going to do? This is unbelievable in some respects here. She just hit it 296 into the wind off the tee. Grant Wake got up here and said, that's impossible to hit it there. Into that little grassy area, had a horrible lie. And did the smart thing. Well, then they're both going to have uh, to think about these approach shots. There's 
that hole. And oh, the camera always flattens the ground out. But that back shelf on the on the right side of the green sits way up high. And it's about five or six feet drop off the right side. It's very, very steep. Go over to the front nine. And the eighth hole. And the second shot for Annika. Bringing the last group off the 10th tee. Didn't do that very often in her 15-year career. She did do that a lot. Hit a green in regulation. Yeah, good shot right there. What a week for the family. Husband Mike on the bag. Daughter Ava. Son Will. Will's going to play in his first go junior golf tournament next week. Back on the 15th hole, Patty Tavatanikit's approach. Yeah. On the putting surface on the right part of the green. If you miss this 15th green, you can play ping pong across the green from one side to the other. It's so difficult to keep it on that. Putting the surface to eight. And Annika Sorenstam for her second birdie of the day. His son Will, who's been uh, stealing scenes this week with some of his post round commentary, plays up in Sanford, Florida, north of here. Next weekend. Is that aimed really right? Now Nelly's third. 94 was all it was to that tabletop location. Uh, Careful. Gonna, yeah, it's going to It could come all the way off the green, that. Oh, this is just oh, going to be awful. And it snakes down and leaves you a really tricky shot. So that's the problem. It is uh, it's just so difficult. At the 18th, Sarah Kemp. Having a nice week. This to close it out with a 69. Okay, a little body English. Curls it in. Orlando resident. Four rounds under par. 15. Now the fourth shot for Nelly. Tight line. Lots of divots right there. Oh, that was <laughs> just avoided disaster with one chip shot there. Yeah, classy play. That's really good. so easy to catch heavy or thin or all kinds of bad things from that lie. Yeah, yeah. that's the kind of very tight turf that at your club, the members are Third, asking three, the... Uh, one, two, three, the stake that's right here. Superintendent, yeah. if they right might let it grow yeah. a little thicker. Okay. They're saying it crossed over in there and it landed out in there. Okay, where did it land? Away. Up there. Is it like in the water? Yeah. Or is it in the grass? No, it's in the water. Okay. So right here. Yeah. See that stake right there? That's the best, the closest we can get it. Okay, to so point. so you can keep that point and go back on that line. You can take two club lines. Come in, Beaver. From where it last crossed, and we're saying right around that stake. Could you give me a line if it's all the way back? Would it be? Would it be? You'd have to keep that red stake between you and the flag. So we'll go all the way back there. Uh, the flag is right, is it not? I'm dropping the bunker. Yep. Okay. I'm dropping the bunker. All right. Yeah, just yeah absolutely. Just be careful about that. Okay, so if we're using this stake as our reference, then you measure two club lengths and you can this go. This stake, right? Yeah. Using that as the reference point, and we can pull that out. Okay. Uh, I, I don't need that. Can, can, you, can you stand right here, please? I'm going to grab the camera. Okay, yeah. And you can touch the sand when I finish. Oh, I can? Yes. So I can drop it in. Yep. Okay, so 
Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Is that okay? Yep. All right, while Angel finishes getting that drop, let's go to 16, Jin Young Ko. And that's a seven iron on the way. Lydia Ko. Lydia, a little bit less than Jin Young. Lydia's got 149. And I think from this angle on the left side of the fairway, I actually quite like it to this left flag. You cannot miss this left, though. Oh, smart play. I tell you what, her irons have been, uh, it's almost like she's just woken up. That was a beautiful swing right there. Mm -hmm. She'll have that for five straight birdies, and with Nelly Korda, a few feet away for par at 15. That would be for Lydia to get within two. Lexi Thompson also with a chance to get within two. Steve, and I, I like the fact that. Yeah. I like the fact that she was a little bit aggressive with the tee shot, you know, just to play to even consider bringing it close to this sort of little grassy area in the middle of the fairway here. But she only has 140 left. And uh, even though that flag is tight left, she's seen Lydia be able to pull off a shot, and I think this, this would be a good time for Lexi to do something very similar. Too disappointed. Cuts from Lydia and Lexi to get to 14 under at the 16th and apply a little pressure to Nelly Corda. Angel Yin has dropped the ball in the bunker. Can't tell the lie from up here by the green. I'm guessing at the yard it's close to 160, 155 to 60. Pictures here at uh, Lake Nona, and they, they believe the, the level of that bunker over time has dropped about two feet, so it's a little lower than uh, what it used to be. Not mm -hmm. an easy shot here for no, Angel. It, no way it's a clean lie either when you're dropping it. Fortunately, now you drop it from the knee, so it didn't plug as much. Got a lot of club oh, yeah. on it. Okay. Oh my goodness, oh. this is awesome. She loves it, and so she <laughs> should. That's incredible. <laughs> I walk away with a par. Told you she's fun to watch. She is fun to watch. <laughs> and listen to. Take another look at that. One of the best shots of the week here at the Game Ridge LPGA. Have okay. knocked it in the water. Oh. With their second. <laughs> oh yeah, she says. Gotta make it for five here at the 15. last flight. At the 15th, Patty Tavitanikit for birdie. Right. Patty two over for the day. Lexi Thompson for birdie at 16. This one look bit back up the hill. Good, Judy, for a long time, didn't it? I think her putting stroke and uh, really the, the putts she's made and some of the putts she hasn't made have really looked good this week. Uh, it's, it's one of the um, best weeks that I've watched her with the putter in her hand. Averaging 30 putts per day. Angel Yin for a remarkable par if this goes in. <laughs> 
I was just chatting with Sean Clues. That was a nine iron shot, just inside 140. My yards was a lot, but he said she just followed up her worst shot of the week with maybe her best shot ever. <laughs> he said she could stand there all day in that bunker and never do that again. He goes, but on the flip side, she could stand there with a three wood back there and never hit a shot like that again either. Right. He's getting to know his player, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Judy, about Angel Yin? What, what, what does she need to do to, to win? Uh, she has to kind of corral um, the talent and the spirit and all that into a, a little more calmness on the golf course. Now, if she's calmer, if she thinks differently than how we see her think, uh, maybe it's not as much fun, but she might rack up some wins. Here's Sean Clues, say caddy. Veteran LPGA caddy. And she's standing back there in the bunker hitting her fourth shot. I mean, in your mind, you're thinking this could be a, a rather large number. This would be for just the greatest part of the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, she tried to do something pretty heroic. Uh, it was a mistake, but she didn't let it get really bad. That's, that's an amazing, amazing five. This one looks a little longer from this angle for Nelly. Maybe just inside, right at three feet, pretty darn straight. Shouldn't be an issue. No, shouldn't be, but it's late in the day on Sunday. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. He used all of the hole. All around good putt. There's a couple of little... Uh, Moments of fortune. Remember that bounce at 13 at the par three, and then getting the drop away from the sprinkler head, and this one could easily have snuck out of the hole. But she also could have bogeyed both of these back nine par fives. After the spot she was in in two and three at 11, and then after that third shot here. So it remains three ahead. <laughs> Her lead is three. Lydia can make it two at 16. For a fifth straight birdie. That could have tightened up very quickly. Stacy Lewis working on a top 10 if she can get this to drop. Very nice. Like a lot of Houstonians, the power was out for a few days with the winter storm blowing through. Stacy with four rounds under par and at the moment tied for ninth. 16, Jin Young Ko. Came back at the end of last year to the U.S. to play for the first time. Tied for 34th over in Tampa at the Pelican Women's Championship. But then a good finish in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Top five. Runner-up at the U.S. Women's Open. And then a victory at the CME Group Tour Championship. Nelly hangs on to a three-shot lead. On the tee of the par 4 16th, Patty Tavitanikit. Clubbing back just a little here, playing downwind. Yeah, good shot. Left center, really good. Yeah, Maybe too late for Patty. Six back, one down when the round started. Angel Yin, after an indescribably good par. It's a win. Between six and seven o'clock.
Looks like three wood for Angel. See if she can get a better one than it for the 15th. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And now Nelly into the par putt curled in at 15, still up three. Make it just a little easier down this closing stretch. Three wood. This one a little right of the other, it should be good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I think so. Any concern there, Judy? Just trickling in? Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Uh, it, you know, it makes you a little more careful with how far you carry the ball into the green, but I don't think it's a big deal. Second of 34 official money events on the LPGA Tour, plus the Olympics in Japan, early August. That's the Solheim Cup. Seventeen. The par three and Lydia Ko on the tee. And even though that flag, Tom, is just four from the left, I quite like it as a location with this wind direction. This one just hanging out right. The kind of short right is the safe play, isn't it, Karen? It really is. I mean, you, you don't want to be short-siding yourself left of this flag, but I do think it's one you could take on. I've seen a couple of players go long left, and the ball's actually carried down and off the green into that swale. A good hole location from the tour there at 17. That's how things look on the first page of the leaderboard. Nelly Corder still with a three-shot lead. Brooke Henderson, disappointing start for Brooke today. A few players that we kind of expected to make a move, one of them being Brooke Henderson, but she was three over for the round for seven holes. Nice week for Leona Maguire, just outside of the top 15. She only had a couple of top 15 finishes in her career, so that's a good week. 66 for Se Young Kim, that stands out. Se Young really didn't get anything going uh, for the first three days. This is going to be her worst finish. And right now she's in the top 25 since September of 2019. Shows you how well she's been playing in consistency. Wouldn't surprise me if she challenges for a win next week coming off 66 on Sunday here. This is Lexi. And this did start out a little bit to the right, but trying to draw back. Final group is at the par 4 16th. Nelly Corda curled in a par putt at the 15th after an exquisite up and down short of the green. 59 or 49. We're trying to land at 59. I think you can probably land this even 62 with this weather, you know. Just trickled into the first cut. Lies pretty clean. Not perfect, but pretty clean. Seven iron. Well, that was struck nicely. High quality shot yet again. I sat down really quickly. Even better shot with the three shot lead though, isn't it? Yeah, every solid one now sure counts. Well, the fact that Angel Yen still has a chance is uh, remarkable for that par save at the 15th three back with three to play yeah I, i'm on eight yeah it's comfortable oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's no problem yep just a hair on the right side this one they agree with jerry yes this ball is teed up just on the front side of the divot kind of like some people practice on the driving range ideal why? Mm. 
really good looking shot here as well. A little saucy. Just didn't quite the number. She's been playing in pain, a shoulder injury. That really intensified at the end of last year. She now makes her home in Orlando, grew up in Southern California. Her folks moved from China, from Beijing, shortly before she was born. Fifth year at the age of 22. This is a Judy Rankin kind of territory. A phenom as a teenager. Not have a tannic it. Like a smooth nine iron from 144. A little right of the hole. How about her driving today, Jerry? It's so impressive. That was a three wood there. She just blistered it, but uh, combine the distance with the accuracy, and it's impressive to say the least. UCLA star for a couple of years. To the ninth. And the final hole for Annika Sorenstam. This is her fourth. Coming out of the bunker. And she walked off at the U.S. Women's Open in her final appearance with a hole out. We don't know how many more events Annika is going to play on the LPGA Tour. This was going to be just a one-off for her. She's planning to play some senior golf over the summer. It's been great to see Annika here. Great excitement, great buzz from the current crop of players to see a legend playing alongside them. Birdie putts at the par 4 16th for our final group and a chance to apply some pressure for Angel Yin. And slightly uphill, not a lot of break. Unfortunate to have sat down so quickly because that was a shot that looked like it was going to get a lot closer. Not a bad putt. Birdie putt for Nelly in a moment. First, Lexi Thompson, three behind this for Birdie. Well, and it's an outside chance, Tom. Well, not a chance if you don't get it to the hole. Not a great putt there for Lexia. Felt she would give it give it a run. You've got to feel like she knows where she stands, or at least knows that she needed to uh, go after it today with the way Nelly's been playing. These are important moments for Patty Tavitanik. It technically still a rookie. First full field event of the year, as you see, she's tied for sixth. This to join Jin Young Ko at 11 under. Only one top 10 thus far in her extended rookie season. But we're going to expect to see her in this position a lot more often. A little bit uphill from here, and going to give Nelly a great breed. Well, she played that to turn right. That's not physically possible. 17 again. Lydia Ko for birdie. This is a flatter putt, Tom, from this part of the green. The most complete stats that we have now are still from 2020. And um, in the two putting categories, she was fourth and fifth on the tour. So her putting is in pretty good shape again. Here's Nelly. Maybe for a dagger. Maybe. By the, the blade of a knife just missed. Still, she will be three ahead. Two to play for her and Angel Yen, and just one more chance for Lexi and Lydia. And Annika Sorensen for a par on her final hole. She is just an extraordinary ambassador for the game. Uh, I, every place we go these days, I see so many little girls um, that are fans that play golf. They play golf um, 
because of Annika and because of programs like the LPGA Girls Golf and USGA Golf, um, it's just it, it, it's a real sea change in um, who watches golf and not just women's golf, but men's golf also. We're finishing off a memorable week. Annika wanted to play this week when she found out that uh, the event was going to be right in her backyard here at Lake Nona and of course preparing to play the U.S. Senior Women's Open later this year at Brooklawn up in Connecticut. Kiss from husband Mike who's been on the bag, a great supporter and he was very emotional. I think he's pretty emotional now. He was very emotional when she made the cut. It's a great scene. Back on the 17th hole here at the Gamebridge LPGA. And this is Patty Tavatanikit. You can see tied for sixth. Can't feel much wind at the moment for the first time all day. No signal from Grant Waite, her coach and caddy. But it's got to be a smooth eight iron. Good. good shot. Just safely right of the hole, but a good shot. Three seventeenth and Angel Yin back there on the tee. Should be a smooth eight iron here. She could try and muscle the nine. No signal from Sean Cluser caddy. A little out of practice with the sickness. <laughs> Leaving me with Sean no clues. Oh, you've been waiting to say that all day, haven't you? Mm, maybe a few years. <laughs> There, she pulled it. Hit it, hit it. Bunker bound. Oh, mm, maybe not. And it's going to run down into that gully, that swale. It's going to be a tricky one from down there. Well, and when you take a short iron and you try to hit it particularly hard, that is where the miss is going to be. Nelly quarter, three ahead, needs to bring it home here. T shot at 17. And the good news is she rarely misses an iron shot left. This is an eight iron, not a big one. Right at it. Oh, yeah. Pretty much what she needed to do. She... You know, I never listen. Can we just have a conversation <laughs> about right of the path? That's left of the path. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Huge putt for Monday qualifier Marissa Steen. Not in next week at the moment. She will be if she makes this because that moves her into the top 10. And members who Monday qualify, who get in the top 10 that week, get into the next event. Congratulations, way to go, Marissa Steen. Yeah, big deal, congrats. Cincinnati, played at University of Memphis. She's gonna play next week at the Golden Ocala. Back at the 17th, it's just no green to work with here for Angel Yin. No, the percentage shot would be to play this along the ground with a straighter face club, but coming from the rough, just almost, it, it's so unpredictable to do that. So you try and get the club head speed by playing a lob shot and it's sloping away from her. Bad angle where it's going to land as well. Tough, tough shot to get close. Yeah, for sure, you might come back to her feet. No. 
Let's go up to the 18th. Yes. Tied for second, Lexi Thompson, but three back. And only 111 miles, yards left. I mean, she's driven it down to this sort of bottom plateau. And I mean, really from here, this is a go for green light special. And Come left. Uh, Like, I couldn't not. Like, I wanted to, like, trap it. Draw it in there. But I feel like that. 17. Yeah, Andrew Yin's third. Oh, goodness. It's two of those today. It seems like she's very quick to just go with the wedge around the greens. When other players have had success with the putter. Yeah, I think she was trying to bump that into that hill and miss the hill. Trying to hit that one skip and stop into the hill. Yeah, the AC players do quite often. Yeah, but she could have putted it. That's for sure. Wish she would have now. I think this is called spending money. There's a lot up for grabs coming up shortly. Rory McIlroy and the PGA Tour's very best take on the purest of courses, TPC Sawgrass. Who will have this year's defining moment at the Players' Championship? Our coverage begins March 11th on Golf and NBC. Now, Patty Tavatanikit has this for birdie. Yeah, putting out a turn to give Angel a little time to look things over and calm down. This one slightly uphill early and turning left. Not much, though. Missed the line right off the get-go. Lydia Ko with a third shot here. Karen, we're getting a look at the ball. How tough is this one? Well, she's, I mean, just from watching her, her the way she studied this and the way she's you know, been on her sort of knee, sort of looking at the line halfway across. I mean, this is, she's giving it the full Lydia Ko treatment here. And she's leaning into it. So she's going to have to create a, a sort of a steepish angle of attack, kind of popping it into the back of the ball here. Boy, it's a good description and exactly what she did. The imagination and the touch, Judy Wright, yep. Lydia Ko. Lots of swing changes through the years. That's been the constant for Lydia. Yes. Angel Ian trying to roll in a bogey here. No, no bargain here. Well, it's not a complex putt. Pretty darn straight, slightly uphill. Did she? As you mentioned the left shoulder issue. She's really been struggling with that. It started last summer and she's been hitting it a bit shorter, although we've not seen evidence of that today. But she's had some, some nerve pain and muscle pain. And at its worst, she said she, she couldn't even open a bottle of water uh, with her left hand, couldn't drive with her left hand. So Angel has been battling that. There's mum and dad. For the quarters, and they will be very excited, I'm sure, to see the way that Nelly has played. Judy, this round could have been about six, seven shots better. Yeah. It's no good doubt. enough as it is, but so many putts just like that. No doubt. Hasn't opened the door, though. Three shot lead is a comfortable lead heading to the 72nd hole, looking for her first win on U.S. soil. On the tee at the 18th, tied for sixth, Patty Tavatanikit. Shot. Yeah, nice. Just a machine off the tee today. Zoned in those three little pine trees there, just right of her ball is perfect. Oh, shit. It. <laughs> Three. 
She led by one entering the final round. She's led by as many as five. Nelly Korda up three on the 18th tee. With a three wood, two more good swings, and it's all over. And good swings are easy for her. Right side. Should stay in, maybe. Korda's winning on the LPGA Tour. Not all over, Judy. Just beginning. <laughs> to back with Jessica a month ago. Up on the green at 18, Lexi for birdie. And even though this isn't going to be Lexi's week, you kind of feel that she's pretty close. Lydia Ko would... Uh... Back on the tee, it's been a wild day. Angel Yen has hung in there for the most part. Three would as well. Blister. Good. Really until that 17th hole. Her second double of the day. But Lydia Ko and Lexi Thompson look to be <laughs> tied for second in this case. Ah, and, I love um, single four though. <laughs> if, if Angel could manage a birdie at this last hole, it would uh, move her up one spot again. World number one, Jin Young Ko. be a 71 for Jin Young. And Se Young Kim pushed Jin Young with the KPMG Women's PGA for that number one spot in the world, but then Jin Young came back to the U.S. and lengthened her lead at the top of the rankings. Solheim Cup no. teammates, Nelly and Angel walking down 18. Today's coverage is brought to you by Gainbridge. Direct access to trusted financial products, giving your future a boost. Learn more at gainbridge.life. CME Group, how the world advances. And by Win Grips, the best grips in golf. which would be a little long of the carry here. Yeah, coming down on the I and the D there is good. Good solid swing on it. 50 total. A few fans out on Lake Nona, yeah. and uh, even more gathering around the 18th to celebrate with Nelly Corda. And just a nine iron. Stock nine iron. And this ball game's over. You buying stock in Nelly's? Game here, how about it? Number four in the world. Could move up to I third. Love you too. <laughs> well, we mentioned this earlier. A chance to match. And now it is, as Jerry said, ball game over. Going to match what Annika and Charlotta did in March of 2000, winning back to back consecutive events on the LPGA Tour. Those were consecutive weeks. These are consecutive events after. PGA Tour took a month off. Judy, the takeaway for Angel Yin would be what this week? Um, you have all the tools. Uh, you have got to get it all organized and know when to be a hero and when to just play solid golf. Kind of the LPGA's young Phil Nicholson, Judy. <laughs> Loves to take chances, even when they're not warranted, but enjoys it, I think. Pitching was there. Oh, no, this is not good. Well left. And the area over there, did it hit a tree? Um, that is spending some that's money. just inexcusable. It really is inexcusable. She has just uh, lost her concentration, lost the plot. Yeah, I think something like that. 98th career event, like Nelly, joined the LPGA Tour in 2017. Yeah. It's just too unpredictable. Yep. It's kind of like chip this one up there. Yep. Like, I'm, I'm fine with that, right? It's going to release and, and release back there. So you think about 105? Yeah, something like that I think is good. All right? Yeah. 
Yeah, wind's just left right down, so anything added, just right of it is fine. To have a tannicate. Once again, a really good tee shot that ended up in one of these weird areas that they have in so many holes where the fairway ends and then starts chipping a little That's gap a wedge. Shot. Do what we want you to just release a little bit. Club twirl and a snap. There you go. And a good nice one. Shot there. The wind whipping off Lake Nona. It's 162nd of the world rankings, not for long. Rookie season really extending from last year. Well, there's Jessica Corda, who won a month ago when her father Peter had a birthday weekend. Oh yeah. She turned 28 yesterday, and she's going to watch Nelly. I think that's Megan Kang alongside. It is. Megan was a junior Solheim Cup teammate of Nelly and Angel in 2015, and a Solheim Cup teammate with them two years ago. We knew her when she came on the LPGA Tour already because of her father and because of her big sister. Nellie Corda has made a name for herself in this her fifth season. She has, and, and back in the beginning, she went all the way uh, through Symmetra Tour and um, all the things to earn her way out here on this tour. And I think all of that made her grow up a little quicker, um, be a stronger player when she came here. And the support the two have for each other is terrific. Nelly has spoken very vocally about that, about having a big sister, not just literally, but someone who can guide you through that always difficult transition into the pro game. She's got a putt for birdie. Angel Yen looks for her ball. Gets a drop. We're back in a moment. Nelly Corda up three for Birdie to close it out. Job done right there. Yeah. Nicely done. Smart play on the second, Judy. Good lag there. She's proving to be a pretty smart player, don't you think, Jerry? Mm -hmm. She's got the great family to rely on, whether it's tennis or golf, their strategy, how to manage in tight situations. Everybody knows about Peter Corda, but Regina Corda was also um, a very fine tennis player. So uh, competition uh, is genetic. And of course, <laughs> Sebastian, the younger brother, is uh, quite the up and coming player in men's tennis. We talked to Marty Fish at the Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions, and he had his eye on Sebastian, maybe for the Davis Cup later this year. An hour and a half away in Bradenton, where the family has lived. Jessica over in Jupiter now, and Nelly, Sarasota, not far away. Update us on Angel here, Jerry. That ball in the penalty area, two club lengths from the red line, got her to the fringe, much easier shot. Uphill, uphill par effort from 35 feet with maybe a little turn right at the end. That's nowhere near it. Completely lost it, Judy, coming down the stretch. Yeah, with concentration um, gone. She made the double bogey at eight with a three putt. Then she three putted for par at the par five ninth, but then she fought her way back. Birdies at 12 and 13, got to within three. Double at 17, ended in the last gasp. Jessica, the cover girls in the golf magazine at the end of last year. And certainly two of the faces of the tour right now. Patty Tabatanikit, the 21 year old from Thailand, superstar at UCLA. One of the big tournaments she won was the Annika 
intercollegiate up in Minnesota. Playing in this event in which Annika has returned to the tour. Uh. One back when the day started. It's going to be for a 74. But a lot to be excited about for Patty, isn't there? Oh, you bet. I mean, she's about as long as, as there is in the women's game. And um, she is young enough and inexperienced enough at the professional level um, that clearly when she gets more experience, learns a little bit more, um, you know, she's the kind of player who could win in her first year. Jerry, we've we've seen this weekend, whether you're a veteran or a rookie, it's tough to play late on a weekend. We see that every week, basically. No, it, uh, it is a different feeling when you experience those nerves on Sunday with a chance to change your career. And I tell you what, I, we got one of the fastest players on tour who's winning this golf tournament, about to close out with 12 straight pars, and getting her patience tested almost every hole down the stretch, just by her fellow competitors. Don't know what to do. Look at her pacing around there just to stay active. But Nellie Corda does always seem, I know she gets frustrated with herself from time to time, but she does always seem as though um, she has a, a peaceful demeanor. Great mentality for a successful professional yep. athlete, and you gotta, you gotta think some of that's genetics, hereditary, and teaching from successful athlete parents. Bogey putt for Angel Yen. That would have been for a 72 after all of the ups and downs. Nelly's weight will continue. Judy, she was on that upward trend at the end of last year. The playoff loss of the A and A inspiration. Such a dominant par five player missed the fairway both in regulation on Sunday and in the playoff. Parted both times, lost to Miriam Lee, as did Brooke Henderson. And tweaked her back, trying to crack her back at the KPMG Women's PGA. Took a couple of months off, came back. The U.S. Women's Open missed the cut. Yeah, basically didn't play the. Uh what was available um, to play in, you know, the last nearly half of the year, certainly quarter of the year. So three double bogeys for Angel Yen in this final round. Nelly Corda, bogey free today. This for par, a round of 69. Sister, sister. After Jessica Corda wins the season opening Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions, Nellie Corda follows her into the winner's circle at the Gamebridge LPGA. Both Patty and Angel um, would do well to think about how they watched Nellie Corda play today. Win number four, but Thank the you. first win in the U.S.